The big question when you sort of first start thinking about buying back in the UK, buying a buy to let is what do I buy? Where do I buy it? Something that you can look at is this amazing development called Tobacco Warehouse, which we're currently selling at the moment. If you know Liverpool at all, you'll know Stanley Dock is in the center of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. So the developers have taken this old, amazing building that was really central to this sort of historic, really kind of what built up the culture around Liverpool, which was the docks and the, the trade from around the world, particularly during the colonial era, as the name might suggest, tobacco warehouse was largely used for the storage of tobacco. What's really amazing about that is that it's this old building, it's one of a kind. You're not gonna see it being replicated elsewhere throughout Liverpool, throughout the Northwest, throughout England, throughout the world, really. It is one of a kind. It's grade two listed, central to the UNESCO site. So really what that, that sort of gives you is that kind of future proofing that you know nobody's gonna come along and copy it. What they've done is they've taken the building itself and they've repurposed it into apartment. For most of the apartments, you look out over the River Mersey. Waterside property is always great. It's a few moments from the three graces, but what's really exciting is it's at the bottom of the newly planned out 10 streets creative district. What that's doing is taking old warehouses that are, you can find all throughout Liverpool. A lot of them are run down or unused or whatever the case may be. And they're repurposing them into creative businesses. So they're incentivizing creative businesses to come into the area, fill themselves up there and really grow that economy. It's gonna do a number of things. It's gonna bring a young, high income population. So your tenant base should be strong. They love the idea of living in the tobacco warehouse because of the architecture. It's not just your sort of bog standard new build that you will find in other places. They're making the most of the architecture that already exists. It's a lot of exposed brick. There's a lot of corrugated steel, the things that you might sort of associate with that kind of colonial industrial type architecture. In, in terms of the sort of loft style moniker that they give them, they are amazing things. So they're making the most of the original glazing, the original windows to get these amazing double high windows there. So you get this in incredible kind of open space and it's incredibly light, incredibly airy. The great thing about kind of big new build city center apartments is that they're, they're kind of easy to manage. They're brand new, they come with warranties. So very little can go wrong in that sense. Where you sort of see really good growth and a limited supply, where you sort of go back to, you know, really simple supply and demand economics, is character properties, historic properties, ideally listed properties that you can't replicate. So fundamentally, you have to sort of see a, a, a dwindling supply of them into the market at a certain point. It's right opposite the Titanic Hotel. It's an amazing hotel. It's really luxurious. And I think what that sort of speaks to is that you're going to be in the middle of this really great area. So there's a really exciting prospect for its future and we think it'll do really well long term.